another day of YouTube. Um, what turned an IO game into a triple A FPS shooter? Uh, I don't think I can do that. Or you can to do that. Okay. So first, let's do the game for reference. Wow, we there's so many our games to choose from. How about Soroy Dial? Wait, what? Anyways, I will be also using the world's most powerful game engine, Unreal Engine 5. So first, I created a brand new project. Chose the third person template. This character should be just fine for now. That was foreshadowing. It was not fine. Then I remember that I have some leftover grass from the last video. And boom, grass. I also made a material that controls where the grass can spawn. As a professional developer, I can ensure you this is how grass is made. Wait, I'm making a first person shooter. So... Much better. Oh, hey, I can see his toes now. Honestly, after studying the Unreal Engine documentation for multiple days, I still don't know what the f I'm doing. But I mean, like a wise man once said, not knowing what you're doing is the best way of doing stuff. Yeah. Days later, I finally created a working pickup system. That's when I realized a big flaw in my code. Height. Timmy, can you get me the milk? Do you see the problem? Timmy is way too That's short. That's why I introduced telekinesis. I mean Raycast. Oh, you're wondering what is a Raycast? Raycast is basically an inventic that forces your character's camera to project and light in the 3D spaces. It also copies the world location, rotation, and four vectors. Basically, the position where the line hits. And once we get this information, we can determine if the player is close enough to pick up the and item. And once we settle the item, we can finally create an object in our character and attach any component to our object. Finally, this should work, right? Um, attempt to. We don't talk about the last one. What the fuck? Finally, I'm gonna just go take a break from this project. Whoa, is that a tree? And there we have it. So Roy the IO in 3D. I was able to create a pickup system and inventory system with only the help of Unreal Engine documentation. If you're interested in this game, visit Saroy.io. This video took over 100 hours to create, so hope you enjoy.